Hello, dear travelers. Today we're gonna go on a tour of the beautiful Malecon. But first, we're gonna grab something to eat on one of the best places in all of Puerto Vallarta. So today, we are going to one of the most recommended places for tacos in all of Puerto Vallarta, and it's called Pepe's, Pepe's tacos. tacos. So let's see how good they are, all right? I, I'm hungry, so. Me too. Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's check this place. <laughs> So these are our pastor tacos. Let's see how it is. You like it? Wow. I might get more. Look at this. Oh wow! Mm. Best tacos I've ever had in my whole life. Wow! Guys. I just had the best tacos of my life, my whole life. It was amazing. That was so good in the light <laughs> It was the best tacos and the, the price is also really good. It's 25 pesos per taco. The pastor there is the number one and it's the highly recommended, the most uh, recommended over there. Mm -hmm. And we had flan and we had another melted cheese something. I don't know what Chorizo. Was. Melted cheese with chorizo. It was way more cheese than any chorizo. <laughs> So for cheese lovers, it's highly recommended. I'm a cheese lover. Yeah, that was a great place. Really highly recommended that. If you come in here, Pepe Tacos. This is one of the beaches in Puerto Vallarta. Playa Camarones is a great place to relax. And one of the nice things that we liked about this beach is that you can bring your dogs in here. One of the things that we enjoyed the most when we were in Puerto Vallarta is to go on the walks on the Malecon. The Malecon is 12 blocks long and you have a lot of shopping, bars and restaurants. Look at this one. It's unreal how the huge rocks standing on top of the smaller one. I had to come closer just to show you how it looks from the nearest point of view. Look at that.
really can sit there. All those is a benches. Look at the details, look at the shoes. Oh wow, I think I found an octopus man. <laughs> Yeah, buddy! As you can see, now Puerto Vallarta looks pretty empty. Wait until the end of the video so you can see how much it changes when the high season begins on the holidays. When you're walking on the Malecon, make sure you keep your eyes open and your camera ready. There is beautiful art in every turn. This bridge is what divides Centro with Zona Romantica. It's a great place to stop and enjoy the scenery. And if you're lucky, you might even see a crocodile swimming in Rio Quale. To catch the sunset, we recommend going to Playa Los Muertos Pier. This beautiful pier was recently built in 2013 by the city and it cost the city $6.3 million.
If you're liking the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures and help us grow the channel. All right, so we got here a shrimp, uh, like a grilled shrimp. Let's try it. You have to clean it. Why he said to not clean it? Anyway, it's a shrimp from the grill. You do need to clean it before you eat on it. Otherwise, you eat on the shell. Besides that, it's pretty good. And it costs 60 pesos for four shrimps. After the shrimp experience, we decided to eat some Mexican McDonald's. We got here a meal from McDonald's. We got a Big Mac and we got... Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is a Mexican McDonald's. Let's see if it's compared to United States, which one is better. What do you think about it? Mexican McDonald's. United States is better. Yeah, you thought the United States is better? Mm -hmm. Alright, so the Big Mac, Mexican one, compared to United States, I still like the United States better than here. And we have reached the end of our video today. We want to thank you so much for stopping here today. And if you like our content, check out one of these two videos here. See you next time.